God, where are we? We're at SourceFed. Who are you? I'm Lee Newton. Who am I? Joe Beretta. You're welcome. For decades now, scientists have been scrambling to find slash create slash Harry Potter conjure up alternatives to our rapidly depleting slash polluting slash expensive fossil fuels. We've reaped the earth of most of this stuff, and if we don't find a viable second option, whatever landmass lays claim to the final deposits will reign supreme in our Mad Max future. And that is why the work of air fuel synthesis, or AFS, is so dang intriguing slash exciting slash goosebump inducing. The relatively small British company has done the unthinkable, which as it turns out, is actually kind of thinkable. They've created gasoline from water and air. Water and air. If you didn't get that, the equation is air plus water equals gasoline. Like for real. Yeah guys, for realsies. Tim Fox, head of energy and the environment at the Institution of Mechanical Engineers in London had this to say. It sounds too good to be true, but it is true. The innovation is that they have made it happen as a process. It's a small pilot plant capturing air and extracting CO2 from it based on well-known principles. It uses well-known and well-established components, but what is exciting is that they've put the whole thing together and shown that it can work. Here's a breakdown of the science. They extract carbon dioxide from air and then do the extraction thing with water vapor and harvest the hydrogen. They plop that stuff in a reactor throw in a catalyst, and boom, they got some methanol. Boom! The methanol enjoys its newfound existence only momentarily because it's converted into the end product of, <gasps> boom, gasoline. Good breakdown. Thank you. But it's not just gasoline, it's super gasoline. Not only is it inherently cleaner because it hasn't stewed for millions of years with other earth craps, it's also refined with renewable energy and it can be used in our current technologies and engines. We can put it in the cars we already have. We don't have to build new cars. We can use the cars we have. But here's the catch. They've only refined about 1.3 gallons over a three month period. And the two year study cost about $1.6 million. $1.6 million per gallon. <laughs> you thought gas prices were bad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. Kill us. And yes, as of now, it's on such a small scale that it isn't applicable to everyday life. But the folks over at AFS believe it would be relatively simple to pop up large scale commercial refineries capable of churning out about 320 gallons per day. That is still a pretty small number when it comes to the everyday human gas needs, but the first plants will most likely produce high end fuel for motorsports and hopefully later on down the line, aviation. And who knows where this could go once smart people actually get the process down and the new technologies pop up. But here is where we need to put on our skeptic pants. Right now, the process requires energy, like electricity to make energy. Maybe that electricity is better utilized elsewhere. If the energy output of this new synthetic gasoline is forever less than the energy required to make it, will it really solve any of our energy problems? But if the synthetic gasoline becomes a viable thing, it could totally alter our environmental and political futures. This, combined with other new technologies and renewable clean sources, because we shouldn't put all of our eggs in one gasoline basket, could keep us out of the Thunderdome. But we should still build a Thunderdome. Oh yeah. Just saying. I'm gonna wear bones on my chest. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Should we move forward with this new synthetic gasoline or should we put our resources and money into other forms of energy? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click on that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click right here or head on over to sourcefed.com to see all of our news. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. I would want red lipstick and maybe some leather and maybe some crazy hair because, you know, Mad Max. I just want nunchuck maces. Those are nunchucks with oh, maces like on the end. <laughs> Dead. Just dead. I'd kill myself in the Thunderdome. <laughs> Wouldn't last at all. No.